Hi everyone, my name is Thais and today we're going to see a new option available in the walls module called horizontal split. So this option is available in the newest release. Uh, the build number is 8560. If you have that build already installed, you're going to see that option under the markers options here next to marker manager. So once I click on it, you will realize that we also renamed some of the existing split options that we have for vertical splits. And now we have this new option here called horizontal split. So this is uh, intended to be used in the Revit wall. And it's an easy way that you can split walls if you receive the project from someone else, from uh, an architectural office, and you need to just quickly rearrange the walls. This is an easy way that you can split them horizontally. So in this example here, I have my wall going all the way from level one to level three. And then let's say that I want to split that and create two separate wall panels for my level one and level two. So in that case, we would be splitting that Revit wall in uh, using my level two as a reference. So in that case, I can go ahead and select the wall, come here to markers, horizontal split, then you're going to see it's going to prompt you to select one of those two, the, one of those two options. The first one, split at selected levels reference planes. If I click on this one, I will see a dialog box showing up with all of my available levels. And in the case of reference planes, if I had any, it would show up here in the list as well. So you could, if you had several levels, pick more than one and already split the wall into several levels or reference planes. In our case, uh, we just want to split at level two. This option will also give you the opportunity of adding some base or top offset. So a little space in between the wall at the bottom and the wall on top. And then we can just go ahead and click OK here. And now my two Revit walls got physically split and I have two separate walls and from there I could go ahead and generate my panels, for example. Now, if I do a control Z, let me just go back to the original state of my wall. And we're going to go ahead and also draw a reference plane. So let me just add one here. And I'm just going to give it a name. So if I, again, go back to markers and I click on split horizontals. So we pick the first one. Now, if we pick the second one, split at picked levels, in that case, we're not going to see the table with all of the available levels and reference, ref, and reference planes. We are just going to physically select a reference in the project. And in that case, it could also be a reference plane or any available levels that you have. And in this case here, so as you can see, I could select my level two again. Uh, let's just go ahead and select the reference plane this time, and it should split the wall at that location. Once you're done, you can just go ahead and hit escape. And then you do have the two separate walls as well. And again, from there, you could go ahead and select these walls and create your panels. And that's it for today's tech tip. See you guys next week.